Hey, what's up everyone? It's Brandon Gatson and you know today is our Q&A day. Every Friday we take questions um, from people just to see what's on their heart, how we can help them, how we can lead them, how we can guide them, and then we go grab the book. You know what the book is? We grab the book. This is the book. And we find out the answers to the questions. And this is an amazing book. I don't know where you are, but don't, don't, don't turn right now because I put out a book. I promise you, it will answer your question. So wait, 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 wait. Now check this out. This question that we have is a phenomenal question. It's actually the most asked question ever in all of the world. This question is asked all the time. What is this question? Here it is. What is my purpose? And what is my calling? Why am I here? Okay. What is my purpose? What is my calling? Let me paraphrase it more. Yo, why am I even here? Like, Who created me? Why am I here? And what's the purpose for my life? What's the calling of my life? It's a fantastic question. Number one asked question in the world. All right. So let's start very basic. What is my purpose? Well, let's define purpose. Purpose is the reason of which something is done or created or for which something exists. So purpose tells you why you are created or why something is done or why something exists. One more time. Purpose reveals why something is created, why something exists, and why something is done. That means that everything that's created has a purpose. It has a why to it. Everything that exists has a why to it. And everything a person does or God does has a reason. Isn't that amazing? So there's nothing done without a reason. Okay. That can open up a really good I feel someone that, but we're going to stay with the topic. Okay, so we know what purpose is. Now, let's look at calling. Calling is the particular profession or occupation you're to be in. Okay, so your calling is your particular uh, profession or occupation, career or job that you're, that you're supposed to be in. All right. So the purpose is why someone uh, is created, why something exists, why something is done. Your calling is the occupation or the um, profession that you should be doing that purpose in. So now you got a difference between purpose and calling. Existence, creation, why something is done, location, occupation and profession. OK, so you find out this and you do this in these things all right so we're together so far so now we have purpose and calling all right now we got to go to the book genesis 1 26. here's what it says then god said let us make man in our image according to our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea the birds of the air the cattle over all the earth and every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth Okay, so God made man in his likeness, in his image for him to have dominion. Now watch this. In order to have purpose, which is a reason for something that's created or exists or for it to do something, you have to make this thing a specific way in order for it to accomplish its, its purpose. It has to be wired a certain way. It has to be built a certain way. It has to be built with the ability to fulfill its purpose. So when God made man, he made man in his image, in his likeness, so that man can fulfill his purpose. Now, what is image? You know what image is. We'll go with a very basic definition. Image is the ability to reflect something. When you're looking at the image of something, you're looking at what something looks like. It just deals with, with, with the visual aspect of something. Man, I'm looking in the mirror. I'm looking at my image. I'm looking at... Um, this, this radio and I could play it and you cannot see it and they can still be going. But once I raise it up, you now are able to see its image, right? You see what it looks like. So God created us for his image. So when people see us, they see what he looks like. Now, the other one is likeness. Likeness is a little different, not really, but likeness is the demonstration of what something is like. 
So if I said, hey, I went over to South Africa, you could look at the image of South Africa on the map, but you still don't know what it's like until you go there. So although you could have image, you still want to have likeness. A lot of people are born again. They're born again into the image of God, but you can't look at them and see what God is like yet. They're still not producing likeness. Side nugget, side thought. Think about it. All right. Now, another verse tells us why we are created. So this verse deals with purpose. Isaiah 43 and 7. What does it say? It says, everyone who is called by my name, who I have called, created for my glory. I have formed him. Yes, I have made him. This verse is everything because it's telling you why you are created. And what's the definition of cre uh, purpose? The reason why something is created. And so it says that you are created for God's glory. Hey, we don't even have to really go into the word glory, but I just think you want to because we only six minutes in. I think we clock out at 10. So here's what glory means. Glory means the, the beauty of something. It means the name of something. It means the splendor of something, the majesty of something. It means the wonder of something, the delight of something, the praise, worship, and gratification of something. Okay. So when the Bible says that you're created for God's glory, it means that you're called to be the revealing of his beauty, of his worship, of his praise, of his splendor, of his majesty. It means that when we look at you, you reflect or become da, 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 the image of what God is like. So glory and image are really brothers and sisters. They come from the same origin. They really mean the same thing. So when a person says, hey, I'm demonstrating the glory of God, you're saying that you're reflecting him. You're being his image. You're now doing what you are created to do. God created man to reveal what he is like. This is your purpose. You're created for his glory, his beauty, his splendor, his majesty, his worship, everything, every attribute that he's put in you is designed to reveal God, his love, his mercy, his grace, his smile, his countenance, his, his embrace, his compassion, his, his righteous anger. Every aspect about his personality, guess what? You are purposed to reveal it. So don't tell me you can't reveal God because that's the very reason why you're created. We just got to have confidence and faith in that. So every person on the planet has the same purpose. We're all called to reveal what God is like, to be his image, to be his glory, to reveal his beauty, to reveal his majesty, to reveal his authority, to reveal his love on planet Earth, to each other, to creation and to the enemy, the devil. Okay, that's another subject, but people feel some kind of way. It's all good. All right. So that's purpose. Now, calling is the big question. What is the occupation I'm supposed to be the purpose in? What is the profession i'm supposed to take the glory in good question okay so callings are interesting because you have different callings in different seasons of your life and you know seasons summer winter spring fall you know seasons where you're living in one place and you move to another place you hit one church you move to another church you hit one job you move to another job you may be in a particular relationship and you move to another one. We all have seasons. Seasons is just defined as a duration of time that you're in a specific place or thing. Okay, so callings are interesting because they're seasonal. So I was called to live in Kentucky. I lived in Kentucky for 13 years. Then the Lord called me to Los Angeles. So calling actually is revealed in your personal relationship with God. But I can give you a stronger way of discovering your calling. If you're trying to find your calling and find it now, the easiest way to find the calling is to start embracing and being the purpose and the purpose will lead you to the call. Do you have any verses on that? Of course I got you. If you go to Acts chapter nine, the apostle Paul at this time is not an apostle. He just gets um, saved. He gets baptized by Ananias and the scripture says right afterwards, and it's really like a little 
you know, there's a three year period in here where he spent time with Jesus, but he started to fulfill purpose. What was his purpose? To reveal the glory of God. And they were given the glory of God through a message, which is called the gospel. So they would go and preach the gospel. Hey, the kingdom of God is here. Jesus did this. He died to bring you back to the father so that you could be the image of God again and reveal what he's like. He's now paying the price for all of this stuff. He's going out and he's healing people and demonstrating what God is like. And in the process of him being purpose, God said in Acts 13, hey, separate unto me, Paul and Barnabas, for the work of which I call them. So then he came into his calling as he embraced his purpose. So we're not called to chase callings. They actually chase purpose. Callings chase purpose. Just go be, and as you're being, God will lead you where you need to be. So if you're working at McDonald's, if you're working in church, don't worry about trying to figure out the next place. Just be the image there, reveal the purpose there, and God will say, separate me, uh, Brandon and Sarah and whoever you are. He'll say, separate me, that person, for the work of which I call Callings of fine Jew. David didn't have to seek no call. Elijah didn't have to seek a call. Jesus didn't have to seek a call. Paul didn't have to seek a call. No one sought callings. Callings sought them. When you're in purpose, callings of fine Jew. So this is how you discover your purpose and your calling. I hope this helped. I'm pumped right now. So wherever you are, embrace purpose first. Hey, this is who I am. This is why he made me. Isaiah 43 and 7. I'm created for his glory, for his image. So every day I'm going to go out. I'm going to look to manifest God's mercy, God's grace, God's love. I'm going to touch people. I'm going to put clothes in the back of my trunk on purpose so I can give it away from homeless people. I'm going to have cash in my ashtray just set for homeless people. Why? Because I want to reflect what God is like. I'm going to make sure that when people do me wrong and talk against me and all these things, I'm overtime. I got to go though. I, 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 I make sure I, I resemble the love of God and the mercy of God. And I'm just looking just to love people everywhere I go. And then me doing that, God will start to speak and callings will seek me out and God to navigate me to where I need to be in life. So good. So good. If this is so good, you better share it because that's what the image of God would do. <laughs> Yo, I love you. Thank you. Can't wait to answer more of your questions. I'll see you later. And go be the purpose so that the calling can hunt you down. Peace.